Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. And welcome to Cathedral Parkway Towers Black History Month Youth Edition. We are residents of Cathedral Parkway Towers, where Angela Rooks is the manager. And we are excited to talk about Black History Month with the youth today. And I have with me, would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Grace. Um, Grace Critchlow, and I live in Tower One. Thank you. And would you introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Louis DeCaro, also known as, also known as Lou Mike, and I also live in Tower One. All right. I'm Louis's mom, and we just love Grace. And I thought it was important for us to highlight our youth so that they can share what Black History Month means to them. And even as we're talking, what does Black History Month mean to you? I'm going to read. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time of recognizing their central role in United States history. Also known as African American History Month, the event grew out of Negro History Week, the brainchild of noted historian Carter G. Woodson and other prominent African Americans. Since 1976, every U.S. president has officially designated the month of February as Black History Month. Other countries around the world, such as Canada and the United Kingdom, also devote a month to celebrating Black history. So we're excited about that. And I want to ask you, Grace, when you think about Black history, what comes to mind for you? Um, well, when I think about Black history, I the first thing that comes to my mind is everyone coming together. Mm. Um, I think about what we may do for Black History Month, how we may celebrate, or like how we may share what we know mm -hmm. and just be proud of who you are. Wow. Mm. wow. That's a good takeaway, be proud of who you are. And uh, Lou Mike, when you think yep. about Black History Month, tell us what comes to mind. Well, the first thing to me that comes to mind when I think of Black History Month is us celebrating, mm -hmm. honoring the famous and popular Black people for their hard work, for their achievements, for their um, popularity, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. in, in, in advance, we should still be honoring those people today and we need to recognize those people who did a lot for our country, for us. And we need to be grateful and have a positive attitude for it because this is for us. Hmm. Wow, thank you so much. Both of you uh, are, are very articulate and uh, you definitely understand uh, Black history and recognizing those who came before us Right. And then those who are in popular culture, those who are currently with us, we want to celebrate them. And even when we think about leaders in black history, you know, just taking a moment to think about Cecily Tyson, um, a, an icon in Hollywood who represented African-Americans in such a wonderful way. Just thinking about her and so many uh, who came before her, who helped to lift up Black people. So what I want to do now is ask you both, who do you think about when you think about Black history? Who are your heroes? Um, uh, who do you look up to? Why? And, and what did they contribute to society? Grace, I will ask you to, to share. So one of my icons or heroes, people that, one of the people that inspire me um, when it comes to black history is um, Amanda Gordon, who was a poet lawyer at the 
um, inauguration this year. I really love how she uses her poeticness mm -hmm. to, like, I guess, capture the culture, at least what's going on this year, or just what has gone on throughout the black community mm. or for people of color. Um, and I just love how inspiring she can be. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow, Grace, she was. She, boy, she captivated us, didn't she? Absolutely. And, absolutely. And as soon as they said that her her book was available, I ordered it. I pre-ordered it. So I'm excited uh, for it to get here and to read it. Grace, is there anyone else that you think about? Um, another person who I think about is that has been a role model for me for a long mm. time is Michelle Obama. Mm. Um, mm. I like, I really like how she works with um, young people and how she's for all, she's, she um, like, I don't know how to say, she loves working with other people and she's always, she seems like such a very kind person. She's inspiring her being the first Black First Lady is pretty amazing. Wow, to, for me, the Black First Lady is pretty amazing. Thank you, Grace. Ooh, two, um, two women, a young, a young person, right? A youth, you know, in your age group, and then you know, an older woman. Two, uh, two females that you look up to. Of course, you know, your mom, right? You know, your mom is 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 the number one uh, person. Uh, who you look up to. She's a, a phenomenal um, author, professor, PhD. So when you look at your mom, you also say, oh yes, I can achieve because of my mother. So Grace, you are in such good hands. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Lou Mike, um, is there uh, two people who you admire and uh, why? Okay. The first person that I really, 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 really admire the most is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And here's why. Because he had that I have a dream speech and it just touched my heart. Hmm. I actually was listening um, to the video, which made me cry because wow. he was, he was everything, wow. you know. Uh, he was a peacemaker. He believed that all people equal. He believed that it didn't matter what race or skin tone you were. He believed that all people deserve to be treated equally, just like everybody else. Hmm. Wow. Thank and, you. Yeah, that's the first person. And uh, the second person who I really, really admire and who goes along with Dr. King is Rosa Parks. Hmm. Because, because of, uh, she was involved um, in the bus movement when one day she was asked to get up out of her seat and give up the seat to a white passenger. And then when she refused to do it, that's when the bus driver called the cops on her and she was arrested for mm. rape segregation law. And she stepped up. She wanted to augment more and more people to come together and to stand up for the truth and to stop segregation. Wow, wow. You know the beautiful thing about the two of you sharing is that one of you shared a current leaders and the other shared historical past leaders. And you know what? A little girl who is five or six or seven or eight when she is asked, when she is a teenager who she looks up to, you know, she will think about her own history and she would say Michelle Obama and Amanda Gorman. So, uh, you know, history continues to move and you, and, 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 and you are able to see how so many African-Americans contributed to this world, contributed to society, and showed that we could be anything that we want to be. And I just want to thank the two of you 
uh, for sharing. And we are definitely going to have another segment of Cathedral Parkway Towers Youth Edition. You never know when we're coming to see you. Grace or Lou Mike, do you have any parting words? Well, what I want to say is, I think that we should augment the knowledge of Black History Month. And what I mean by the word augment, because augment means to increase, to make better and greater. We need to build up those knowledges of kids, young people, elderly people, even some Black people who may not know their own history. You know, they know they're Black, but they may not know their own set of history. Yes. And we want to try to, you know, increase the knowledge and we have to you know teach the young people more in uh public schools especially yeah. in the schools because that's history is everything history gets to your mind it's in your descendants it, hmm. it's everywhere wow so we want to try to honor and we should still honor the black people today and they will and they should actually be forever be recognized and appreciated. Yes, and like I agree with you. Um, I totally agree that we need to like learn more and especially with all the racial injustice going on this year, I think it's really important that we learn more about ourselves and that also other people who aren't necessarily black um, learn about us too. Mm. And that our history matters. History, ooh. History matters. History this matters, that's it. Interesting. That's it, that's it, Grace. Hashtag history matters. Well, everyone, that's our show for today. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Lift every voice and sing to life in heaven. Bring with the heart